Broadcasting live from Shibuya, Tokyo, this is your host, Aaron Randall. Welcome to American Hot Topics. Today we're going to talk about various and new items that are hot and trending in America. Things that are most commonly unknown to Japanese. Today's program is brought to you by Kotobanku. この番組は某国立大学で英語を教えているアーロンと英語学習中のジュンがお送りいたします。Today we're going to talk about sodium consumption and fad diets in America. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us on another week of American Hot Topics. I am in Shibuya with June and it is finally sunny today. 今日は本当に気持ちいいですね。てかあの、おとといと昨日は本当にひどくて、Two typhoons coming towards Tokyo. 挟まれてたもんね、なんかね。Yeah, yeah, kind of moving together towards Tokyo. And you know, actually, images of the rain and the floods went all the way over to America. On a CNN's homepage, there were、uh, pictures of houses being swept away by the floods here in Japan. And I, I think a Tochigi prefecture. うんうん、うん Yeah, <laughs> えー、クラフトビールの会を聞いていたのですが、えー、ジュンさんが糖質制限しているとおっしゃっていましたが最近注目されていますよね、えー、糖質制限やグルテンフリーなどアメリカの健康にまつわる考え方や流行を教えていただけたら嬉しいです、mm. とのことですが、oh, Thanks for the mail and you are absolutely right the gluten free diet is really popular in America right now and really the amount of Americans really caring about their health is、uh, steadily increasing Yeah, so there was a really interesting article from CNN this week, and it,、uh, the title is New Yorkers will soon know when they eat a day's worth of salt in one sitting. So on Wednesday, the New York City Board of Health voted unanimously to adopt a new rule requiring chain restaurants to label menu items with more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium. Sodium? って何 I think in Japanese you say natrium. Natrium? Shio? Yes. えー、ちょっと待ってナトリウムって英語じゃないんだ。Right, it's actually、uh, from German. へえ、あ、そうですか。Mm-hmm. So, if a chain restaurant has an item with more than you know, 2.5 milligrams of sodium, they have to label it.、Mm-hmm. So, that 2.3 milligram amount is a full day's worth of salt, right? And an estimated 80% of New Yorkers consume more than that recommended maximum each day. That's still better than the nationwide number. An estimated 95% of Americans consume too much salt. Studies show high sodium intake leads to cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease? What's that? It's a risk of the 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 risk. New York City was the first jurisdiction in the nation to adopt high sodium label warnings, and the health department expects this rule will further improve the overall health of New Yorkers, the city's health department said in a statement Wednesday. The salt industry and restaurant owners pushed back against the new rule. <laughs> <laughs>、ね、<laughs> yeah. So, New York City was also the first jurisdiction to require calorie labeling on menus. As with that rule, salt labeling will apply only to restaurants in New York City that have at least 14 other locations nationwide, which are mostly fast food chains like Wendy's, Subway, and McDonald's. I'm seeing CNN の写真見てますけど、ナトリウム量が 2300mg、mm-hmm. 2.3g 以上のメニューにはこのかわいい塩マークをつけなきゃいけないんですね。<laughs> yes. ちなみにナトリウムと塩分って微妙に違うの知ってました、アロンさん。No, I don't know. なんか塩分はナトリウムにその塩化イオンが結合した塩化ナトリウムのことを指すんで、mm-hmm. ナトリウムイコール塩分ではないんですって。Ah. なのでこういう塩分表示の時にナトリウムで表示している場合とあの塩化ナトリウムで表示している場合があるのでちょっと注意していかなきゃいけないと。Okay, so sodium is not the same as the amount of salt, right? で今回のニューヨークの場合はナトリウムで 2.3g 以上だと塩マークだと。Right. って言われても全然ちょっとイメージがわかんないんですよね。なのでちょっと調べてみると、あこれとかいいですかね。これ皆さん皆さん食べたことありますかねこれ。吉野家の牛丼
。おお。<笑> I eat that once a week. <笑>そう。Yeah. 美味しいですから、僕、吉野家一番好きですよ、牛丼屋で。Absolutely. <笑>吉野家の牛丼、並盛りのナトリウムが 1.1g。まあ、だから、まあ、吉野家の牛丼の並盛りにはこのソーディアムマークはつかないと。うん。Right, right, right. カップヌードルが 1.9g。Wow! カップヌードルにもソーディアムマークはつかないと。うん。あと、焼き鳥は1本 0.85g ですね。Oh, I see. Oh, for, for one? So, so. Oh, wow. So, I guess if you ate about three, you'd have to put the mark on. So, だからあの盛り合わせだと完全にダメなパターンですね。Wow, yakitori has a lot of sodium. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so, if we look at like, you know, a really American meal,、uh, the、uh, double cheeseburger from McDonald's, the amount of sodium contained in one double cheeseburger. Is about 1050 milligrams. So I, I guess、um, the, uh, the amount of sodium in one bowl of gyudon from Yoshinoya is almost the same as the amount of sodium in a double cheeseburger from McDonald's, right? Ah, so, eh, so, what do you mean? Only 50 milligram difference. <laughs> So, why has New York City established this new rule to mark high sodium content products? Well, the WHO or World Health Organization has set a worldwide goal for each person to consume at max 2 grams of sodium per day. 2 grams? Mmm. So, I'm going to eat it for 3 hours. Yes, you're finished. Well, I'm going to eat it for 3 hours. Well, I'm going to eat it for 3 hours. Well, I'm going to eat it for 3 hours. Well, I'm going to eat it for 3 hours. So, looking at sodium consumption in Japan, right?、Uh, in Japan's case, sodium consumption is quite high. The Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in March 2014 recommended 18 year old men to only consume 8 grams of sodium a day, and for women to consume less than 7 grams of sodium per day. この値がもう WHO の4倍ですもんね。Yeah, it's WHO は2グラムまでって言ってるのに。Exactly, exactly. Four times as much. By the way, the average American consumes about 3,400 milligrams of sodium a day. So, if American went by Japanese standards, we'd be okay. あ,あそうなんですね。日本人はだからやっぱり塩好きなんでしょうね。え、アーロンはだから個人的にはどうですか日本で食事しててしょっぱいって思います Yeah, you know, Japanese food is really salty. Hontoni? You know, shoyu ramen is just too salty.、Mm-hmm. I can't finish the soup.、Oh. The actual soup, I can't drink the whole thing. Ah, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In America, though, it's salty, but you can't taste the salt content. えどういうこと The American cheeseburger has a lot of sodium in it,、mm-hmm. but it's masked by a lot of sugar. And a lot of other artificial sweeteners and flavors. Oh, なるほど Right. So it's a little more dangerous in America because you don't know how much sodium you're eating. Hi, 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 hi. Ano, amazoppai endoris no hosok ne. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Japan's better in that regard because when you're eating really salty ramen, you know it's really salty, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And then you drink a lot of water afterwards, right? Hi, hi, hi. But in America, you don't really have any kind of sense. Of how much sodium you're consuming. Absolutely. Mm, I'm not sure. Let me look that up real quick. Here it is. So, the average lifespan for an American is 79 years old. America comes in 34th in the world for average lifespan. Japan at number one. Kita. Yeah. Kita. Ore, ore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys have an average lifespan of 84 years old, right? But a lot can happen in five years, right?、Mm-hmm. And you know, Japan is really world famous for having this long lifespan, right?、Mm. ね、yeah, it makes one consider the possibility that、um, you know, sodium consumption and、uh, lifespan aren't completely related, right?、Mm. だから私は脳焼き鳥脳ライフ的なところでねもう少しこのまま生きていきますけどね。<笑><笑>
まあでも情報がオープンになるっていうのは消費者にとっていいことですよねお店は大変かもしれないですけどうんいやアーロンって外食多いですかいや、yeah, I eat up a lot あの外食するときそういうの気にしたりしてますそのカロリーとかナトリウムとかいや、yeah, I really don't look a lot I really don't pay too much attention 私は一時期すごい外食しまくってる時期があってでも一応健康に気を使おうと思って、うん、その渋谷でカロリーが表示されてる外食にしか行かなかったんですよ、うん、でもそもそもこういうカロリーとかナトリウムちゃんと表示してるお店って少なくて、うん、かつラーメンとかさ丼とかさ、うんまあ、昼ならいいけど夜炭水化物ベースだと糖質警察出てくる可能性もありますからね、うん、カーボハイドレートポリスそうあの糖質警察ってなんか低糖質ダイエットみたいなのやってる友達とかが、うん、その SNS にその糖質っぽいご飯画像をアップするとなんかやたら注意してくるんだよね<笑>な,<んか><笑>なので定食ベースで栄養表示があるところだと、うん、オートヤか、うん、ネギしかああサブエかデニーズっていう,、えー、もうずっとこの4つにひたすら半年ぐらい行ってたことはありますね Oh, man. だから夜本当にちゃんと定食がヘルシーに食べられてこういう情報がオープンになってるところがもっとあればいいのになっていうのを常々思ってるところですねうんネギシー is amazing <笑>ネギシーうまいよね<笑> is incredible <笑> so this is kind of off topic but you mentioned ネギシー<笑> so recently I've probably shown around maybe five or six foreign friends ネギシー<笑> right and I, I bring them to the restaurant and they are just like blown away <laughs> They love it, man. Right? <laughs> the, the meat. The meat is so good there. It's super salty. Yeah, but it's so good. But you know, not everyone can drink the,、um, what is that called? The Totoro? Ah, Tororo, ne? Tororo, right? <laughs>、no. not, not everyone can drink the Tororo, right? <laughs> slime, slime. The slime, right? Not everyone can drink that. <laughs> So, kind of going back to Momoko's、uh, comments about the recent diet trends in America, and then、uh, CNN putting out this article that talks about New York and、uh, how they have to put labels on all、uh, the high sodium content foods, this can really all be traced back to the obesity problem in America. More than one third of US adults are obese. Obese is a human being, but it's different from being fat. Right, it's different from being fat.、Um, obese is actually clearly defined. It's having a BMI of 30 or higher. BMI is 30 or higher. BMI is the size of 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 the size. So, obesity related conditions include heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer, some of the leading causes of preventable death. The estimated annual medical cost of obesity in the United States was $147 billion in 2008. The medical costs for people who are obese were $1,429 higher than those of normal weight. So, if you're obese in America, you can expect to pay. About an extra $1,500 a year for medical bills. America is a country that has no health care. I don't know if you can manage your own health care. I don't know if you can manage your own health care. I don't know if you can manage your own health care. Exactly, right? And one of the solutions to this kind of a problem is these、uh, fad diets that come around, right? うん、うん、And the one right now that everyone's talking about is gluten free. So, what is gluten free? All right. So, a gluten free diet is a diet that excludes gluten, a protein composite found in wheat and related grains, including barley and rye. Some people believe that there are health benefits to gluten free eating for general population, but there is no published experimental evidence to support such claim. Ah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. セリアック病とかそのグルテン過敏症みたいな人にはもともと効果がある、yes. グルテンフリーなことが意味があるんだけれどもそうじゃない人が何でもグルテンフリーにしても意味なんてないみたいな。Right, it has not been confirmed, right? So that's why a gluten free diet is often considered a fad diet, right? So fad diets are popular and endorsed by celebrities, right? So this time actually Miley Cyrus. 
はいはい。Was a big supporter of the gluten-free diet, right? Hey. 前に話したレッキングボールの人だよね。Right, exactly. So, you know, she kind of started ranting about the gluten-free diet on social media and on Twitter and everything. It kind of like spun around and got really popular, うんうんうん、うん、mostly on the West Coast. なんでウエストコーストなの You know, just the West Coast has always had this kind of organic culture to it. Mm. Yeah, it's just always been like this. <laughs> also,、uh, there was a book called Wheat Belly, which refers to wheat as a chronic poison, and that became a New York Times bestseller within a month of publication in 2011. So, people buy gluten free food because they think it will help them lose weight, because they seem to feel better, or because they mistakenly believe they are sensitive to gluten. However, The gluten free diet is not recommended as a means to eat healthier or to lose weight. Neither should it be undertaken to diagnose one's own symptoms because tests for celiac disease are reliable only if the patient has been consuming gluten. まあ、だからこういうのって、まあ、日本でもですね納豆ダイエットとか<笑>朝バナナダイエットとか,<笑>か周期によってカスピカヨーグルトとか Right. なんか一定感覚でなんか流行るんだけど、yes, まあそれの一つみたいな感じなんだね。Absolutely, right? しかももう,もう最近はあんま流行ってないぐらいな感じもしかしてグルテンフリーとかは。Yeah, yeah, it was actually, you know, I'd say probably two or three years ago. うんうん、うん、And、um, there was a really funny、uh, South Park episode あそうなんだ that made fun of a gluten free diet. <笑>そう。Yeah. <笑>えー、それ見てみたいわ。Yeah. So, like you were talking about with Japan, America also cycles through fad diets about every two years or so. Uh, in every popular diet, there always seems to be some food which is forbidden or will kill you. With our current gluten free diet, wheat is the culprit. Some fad diets may suggest to only eat meat or to not eat meat at all, and usually exclude an extremely important everyday eaten food from the diet. So, June, would you try the gluten free diet? You can't eat wheat, so no bread or beer. <笑>ちょっと無理ですね、これは。Uh, yeah, yeah. Me too, me too. I couldn't go without bread and beer, you know? さっき日本人の寿命が長いみたいな話あったけど、うん、周りを見て、あんまりエクストリームな食生活してなければ、うんうんうん、基本的には長生きできるんじゃないかっていうふうに思ってますね。As long as you don't eat McDonald's like every day. <笑>まあ、それでも元気に暮らす人はいるかもしれないけどね。うんえー、ということで、ももこさん、えー、ゆるふわ回答になってるでしょうか<笑>えー、我々が話すべきトピックがあればどんどんどんどん、えー、リクエストいただければと思います。えー、インフォアット、えー、アメフォドット東京もしくは、えー、Facebook ページよりどんどんリクエストください。といったあたりで。Thank you guys so much for joining us this week and we'll see you next week on another episode of American Hot Topics. アメホパーソナリティのジュンです今年2月に募集して大反響をいただきましたあの学校教員向けニッチアプリがなんとこの2015年8月に正式リリースされました当番組「アメリカンホットトピックス」は英語に親しんでもらおうという番組ですが英語を上達させるためにはポッドキャストのように音声を聞き流すだけでなく日々の音読シャドーイングといった発声練習も非常に重要ということは、えー、教員の方々であれば日々痛感していらっしゃるのではないでしょうかしかし生徒にいくら音読やシャドーイングをしろと言っても彼らが実際に何をどれだけ練習したかを把握することは非常に難しく中途半端になってしまっている方も多いのではないでしょうかしかしそこで我々は英語教員の先生方が生徒に音読をとっても簡単に録音させて提出させられるウェブサイトその名もリピートークを開発いたしましたえー、リピートークさえあれば教科書の音読やロールプレイを生徒に提出させて先生はそれをチェックすることができるのです、えー、絵文字でフィードバックすることもできるのです、えー、なんとこのリピートーク今年の2月にベータ版のモニターをアメホで募集したところ、えー、応募が殺到いたしまして、えー、そしてベータ版のフィードバックを踏まえて、えー、この度正式サービスとしてリリースいたしました、えー、ちなみにこの仕組み特許も出願しておりますさあこのリピートーク、えー、今なら3ヶ月間学校関係者であれば無料でご利用いただけます、えー、ご興味のある方々は、えー、ICT で日本の英語教育を変えていこうという先生方は、えー、リピートーク -info.net 
、dptalk-info.net にぜひアクセスしてお問い合わせください。ご連絡お待ちしております。